Good morning, guys. So today I want to talk to you about a new little tool I got for uh, mostly monitoring the truck during towing. Uh, Scan Gauge 2. So these are read readily available on Amazon, uh, $160. Comes with the scanner itself here, uh, Velcro. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be temporary or long term, but uh, five feet of this cable and I just hid this behind the weather stripping and then it stays plugged in full time to the OBD2 port. Um, packaging, instructions, manual. Uh, it's incredible the amount of stuff you could do with this. Uh, basically do an initial setup. Uh, size of the engine, size of the fuel tank. Uh, you can choose how you want all the stuff laid out on the screen, the color, the background, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so this is a 2021 Tacoma uh, with the four liter V6 crew cab, long bed. In this configuration, it's rated to tow 6,800 pounds. Uh, that's kind of a joke, uh, unless you could just snap your fingers and magically appear on the freeway and you don't have to use the on-ramp or off-ramp or speed up or slow down. <laughs> um, the most I tow on a regular basis is would be my boat and the boat trailer. That's like 4,000, I'd say. And then uh, the motorcycles and the motorcycle trailer, that's like a 2,000-pound setup, and we tow that all over the state. Uh, it's a 5 by 8 cargo trailer with the two bikes. Uh, and so... I'll show you. So this just comes on with the ignition. Come back to that. Uh, so back to telling, I mean, you know, you pay all the money for these trucks. Oh, my window is down. You pay all the money for these trucks. And let me just make sure my music's off here. Yeah. You pay all the money for these trucks and, you know, they give you that unrealistic tow rating for the Tacoma, at least. You know, if, if this was a diesel or you know, full size, it'd be different, but you get this ETC power button, you hit that, light comes on, that stands for electronically controlled transmission, that's kind of the tow, tow mode for this truck, and that just changes the shift points, really, um, you know, there's no trans, temp, there's no oil pressure, there's no battery voltage, those are the things I was really chasing, uh, and you know, not that I'm towing all the time or hooking up a damn gooseneck with a car on it, but I just want to, you know, monitor things. And you know, you can make the you can make the argument. You know, people, not probably 99% of Tacoma owners don't have anything like this or care about trans fluid or anything, and they'll drive the truck 300,000 miles problem free. That's fine, and that's what I'm I'm hoping for. But why not just monitor these things? So. You can set this up however you want. Uh, the battery voltage, and the, this is a coolant temp, these come loaded on the scan gauge. Now I have two trans temps, and these I had to co put codes in, specific specific to the Tacoma, for the, the for, specific for the Tacoma for the scan gauge to read. Now one is like the fluid coming into the trans, and the next is the trans, the fluid coming out of the trans. Oh, look, look at the dog in the trailer. <laughs> um, so this is how I just have it set up now. And I, in my research, I cannot find an oil temperature or oil pressure for the truck to load on there, but that would be nice. But I haven't done, maybe I haven't done enough digging, but that's still to come, maybe. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to watch these as, as I drive, uh, like I know, for example, your coolant when you're driving, after you've been on the freeway or whatever for a while, it's just pegged in the middle at whatever it is, 190, 200 degrees. Don't you, I assume that you actually change degrees by five, 10, 20 degrees. And that just doesn't register. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong or not, but I'm pretty sure that this coolant temperature will actually go up or down depending on 
if we're, you know, on the freeway, at a stoplight, you know, increasing speed, slowing down. I'm pretty sure that will actually fluctuate, but this obviously stays the same, so that just can't quite keep up. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, I think that's it, but yeah, it was $160, and so far I'm super impressed with what you could do. I mean, it comes with all kinds of stuff. You could load in, uh, program in your, the size of your fuel tank, and then when you go and gas up, you can program in how much you paid per gallon, how many gallons you put in, and then as you're driving, it'll give you a live readout on your cost per mile. Uh, you might not want to do that right now because it would be depressing, but um, <laughs> fuel mileage is not my biggest concern with the truck. Uh, I really wanted to monitor the trans fluids and uh, the coolant for just out of curiosity. But yeah, with summer coming up and more towing, it's gonna be curious. Oh, I'm, I'm curious to see it all play out. But yeah, the Tacoma comes with the ETC power button, which is just a, you know, a, a trans uh, shift point tuner kind of thing. And that that's that's about it. Uh, I haven't played with it enough, like while, like while driving, I haven't like switched back and forth with it much. So I don't know if it's really, uh, really better. Uh, I didn't ever own a truck. Well, no, I take that back. I've owned one truck with it, with a tow button. Uh, what really resonated with me, it, it wasn't until my dad's most recent vehicle. He, he drives a 2017 Tahoe. I'm just going to shut this off. He drives a 2017 Tahoe. And when he goes into tow mode, his voltage gauge changes to a trans gauge that's always really resonated with me like why can't more vehicles do that obviously this isn't a digital setup like his but uh i don't know that that always stuck with me and i really wish that tacomas had something or you know more just more trucks had some stuff like that and i'm sure i mean that's a 2017 now five years later i'm sure i'm sure more do but maybe i just don't see enough new vehicles but yeah, uh, I like this setup right here for now. Uh, it's very much in, you know, in my peripheral in the eyesight. Uh, I'm not going to give it away yet, but I bought a specific uh, Toyota Tacoma specific mount to mount it elsewhere. I'm not going to say where yet, but uh, once I get the mount, I'm going to test fit it there. And I don't know if I'm going to keep it there because I might like this. So, yeah, test to come, but if you drive a Tacoma... Uh, I would highly suggest getting this for monitoring more temperatures, uh, stuff that the truck just doesn't provide you. Thanks for watching.